let's check out my studio. Shit, where's all my stuff? What's good? I'm photographer and filmmaker TK North. And of course, lucky I filmed this video in my studio space before I actually packed it up, ready to move out. As you may have guessed, my fiance Michelle and I are actually moving apartments, which means I need to pack up my studio space and set it up already in a new place. I'm really excited to show you the new setup and some new additions, but I did really wanna film this video before we move to show you my current setup so I can show you a bit of a before and after and also to give myself a bit of a time capsule so I can come back and check out what my old studio space looked like at any time. I keep saying studio, but for me, it's more of an office space. I would say 90% of the time that I spend in here, I'm actually kind of doing work or editing. The rest of the time I'm filming YouTube videos. So it is more of an office space, but hey, studio sounds cooler. So let's roll with that. Now I did set this kind of space up about halfway through last year. Of course, with COVID, I was spending a lot more time at home. So all of my work was basically done in this room. And at the beginning of last year, it was a complete mess and it was really hard to get any work done in here. Of course, last year was actually my first year full-time freelancing as well. So I did really need a better space to be a bit more productive in and really be able to get work done. So of course, this space isn't perfect. It's not my ideal setup. However, it is a huge improvement to what I had at the beginning of last year. It's a space where I can be a lot more productive. It's much nicer to work in. And of course, it's much easier to film YouTube videos in here now as well. I've split it up into three segments. The first one, I'm gonna show you around the desk space, everything I use there for getting work done. The next one is all the storage I have in the room where I store all my photography equipment. And then the last one, of course, is the camera equipment that I use and lighting, etc., for filming YouTube videos. So feel free to skip ahead to any section if you wish. Let's jump in and take a look. So the very first thing I purchased when I started doing up this room was the sit to stand desk. I had been wanting one for a long time, but last year really gave me a good excuse to finally get one and I haven't looked back. If you are considering it, I would definitely recommend getting one. As someone who has worked as a physiotherapist previously, I really can't recommend it enough. I held off because they used to be pretty expensive, but you can pick them up really cheaply now. This one I found online and I've linked a similar frame in the description below. I then purchased the IKEA bench top to use on top. My chair, I still haven't upgraded. It largely does the job and it's just a basic chair from IKEA. In and around the desk, I mostly have more IKEA stuff. The desk drawer here, the pegboard, and storage cubes are all from IKEA. I also have a few special items in and around the desk, mostly from Japan, and of course, old mate Picasso here. So onto the computer and some of the other tech that I use around the desk. I'm not actually a very tech savvy person, only when it comes to camera gear. I don't dive into too much else. On the desk, I've got a laptop stand, which I really love, picked up from Amazon. Again, I'll pop the link below. I'm currently using a Dell XPS 13 here, but I also have a 2018 MacBook Pro. And then my monitor is an LG 27 inch 4K monitor. I'm mostly fine with one monitor. No doubt it would be nice having two for video editing, but I do like having a more minimal setup. If I need a secondary screen, I do just use the laptop when required. My mouse, I'm using the MX Master 2S, which I've had for years now. I absolutely love it and the customization it provides and battery that lasts forever. Again, I highly recommend this mouse. Next up, I have my keyboard, which is a Keychron K1, which I purchased last year when setting up this space. I've been super happy with it. I've got the blue switches, which I really enjoy using and are great for typing. I do like the RGB light options and I love the compact design. I've got the one without the number pad, which makes it even more minimal and perfect for my desk. Under the keyboard and mouse, I have a really cheap black IKEA desk pad. Also important on the desk are the plants I have. I couldn't tell you what they are other than this piece lily, 
But yes, they are real and I love having some green around me in the space that I'm spending so many hours in. On the back of the desk, I do have a cheap RGB light strip that I can control from my phone, which is pretty cool. And they work really well for the price. You can pick them up for like $20 here in Australia from Kogan. Cable management, again, I'm just using an accessory rack from Ikea. So that's my basic desk setup. As you can see, quite simple, nothing too fancy, but I find that's largely everything I need to be able to get work done. The only thing I may look to add in in the future when we move is an additional monitor. So on to the next segment, which is basically where I store and keep all my camera gear. All right, so this is the entire space. As you can see, it's not a very big room, but it does the job. So in terms of storage, other than the stuff around the desk, I've also got this glass cabinet here, spare cameras, lenses. Often these are kept in my bag if I'm using them frequently, but in there at the moment, I've got the Canon EOS R, Lumex S5, and my film camera, the AE1 program. If we come over here, down the bottom here, I usually use the top of this for packing my bags. I've got the packed travel backpack that I use, kind of everyday backpack, also for like day trips, week trips, overnighters, all those things. And then just for photography gear, I've got the Tenba bag as well. So on the right here, tripods, gimbals, everything like that. And then on the left, I've got all spare bags, drone and drone bag. Above, a few sentimental items, and of course, hat rack. Light, which usually sits in the corner when it's not being used. Got it on at the moment. That's pretty much everything. So the main thing I wanna add in in terms of the storage at the new place is a tool chest for easily storing and organizing all my camera equipment. I think it's going to be super useful and I'm pretty excited to have that set up. So last of all, finally, I'll run through the equipment that I use to film these YouTube videos. So nearly all of my YouTube content is now filmed on the Canon R5, which I typically use the Atomos Ninja V with to record externally whenever I film at home. It just makes the editing process so much easier when editing the ProRes files. Tripod, I have a Carbon Globetrotter tripod from Me Photo. Light, I'm using the Godox SL60W, a great value light, which I've partnered with the Light Dome 2 softbox from Aperture probably the best softbox money can buy. In terms of audio, this is something I really can't wait to update in the new studio. I currently use a Blue Yeti Nano and a Rode Video Micro, as well as sometimes using the Rode Wireless Go. I don't currently have a method to boom my mic, which I am really keen to set up in the new studio for better sounding audio. So there you have my current studio slash office space, which by the time you watch this will obviously be all packed up and ready to move on. I'm super excited to show you the new place and show you my new setup. So make sure you subscribe and follow along. Bye for now. I'll catch you at the new place.